Hey, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia Legends. Last time we were on a bit of a discovery hunt, but this time, well, I did the uh, rest of the discoveries off camera, so this, so today we can go straight into Yafutuma. If I can remember how to get into it, it's one of these islands, there we go. I mean, this place looks like it would be a fantastic place to live. It's beautiful here. Were it not for the uh, massive damp problem that all the uh, houses will do that have. Do not appear to be too welcome. <laughs> Considering we're being threatened by a guard, they seem very, very happy. Obviously a highly eastern influence to this place. These guys don't look particularly friendly. They're very forthcoming with the information, aren't they? very happy for us to get that moon crystal it would seem. So welcome to Yafutuma. A very pretty village. I don't... oh yes. I can go and rest up over here and save which is pretty nice. Hey, swans. It's very pretty. I love that they've got a the little river running but running through all the houses like that. And I've been relying on save states for a long, long time. So let's head down into the actual Yafutuma itself, because there's some stuff to get, if I remember right, there's some items and some crew members. A magic lift! I've been having some controller issues lately, so I'm hoping I 
I'm hoping that I can get this entire episode done in one take. Uh, the problem I've been having is that it seems my 360 controller doesn't like uh, vibration anymore. And instead of vibrating, it tries to uh, disconnect and reconnect itself. The green flat, the green light on the front of it keeps flashing. And sometimes it winds up being assigned to a different slot. As you can guess, not particularly useful. You know, in the heat of battle, so I've been having to quit out a lot. And I find myself uh, saving state, quitting the emulator, unplugging and replugging the controller. I've done a restart, but I don't know how well that'll have, how well much that'll work. Hello, kids. Ah, weapon shot. Fantastic. Here we can get ourselves the Sweeran blade. Handy for vice. Ah, this can put enemies to sleep. Very handy. Get one of these for vice. One of these for Ica. Oh no, I did not mean to buy three of them. God damn it. Press the wrong button. Okay. Just sell all this stuff. I'll hold on to the white map for now. I'm not entirely sure anyone in the Afutuma seriously says, you come on back now, you hear? Actually, this would be a good time to have a look at what my ship has equipped. Oh, I, I need to repair the ship. So let's have a look at the ship's equipment. And see if I can improve its cannons any at all. Yeah, I'm still undecided on the heavy torpedo. I don't think I'm going to go for it. What's that steel deck? I have a heavy armor deck. Yeah. And a compound deck. Okay, yeah, so I've got the best equipment. So I'll sell the rest of the ship stuff. Let's just buy some more stuff. Sacrum crystals. Buy another ten of those. I don't really need any more of those. gotten to the point now where I don't think I can actually buy Sacri's crystals from any of the new shops. Excuse me while I just empty your chest for 3,000 gold. Now, there's a novel way of getting around all these places. Which we will see shortly. 
Aw, look at this guy, he's cute. Ah. <laughs> hit to it can talk to us. Look at this, it's like a chicken crossed with a parrot. I think there's anything. Yeah, I need to get in there. Okay. Now I need to. Come on. Go. Okay. That was. Probably not what I actually wanted to do there. Don't think I wanted to raise that just yet. Lower that. Can I do it from the other side? No. Okay. These tubs are how we get a bite. Whee! So, there has to be a way. to get off the boat. I think it's here. I can get a crew member in here later on. I can't get her just yet. But I think I can... Uh, I can't get her at the back of here. So it's not here I needed to go to. I just love puzzle towns. Yeah, yes, okay. So I go here. It's one way of getting about, isn't it? Run all the way back over here. You'd think they'd put a lever on the other side, wouldn't you? You know, it's not it's not that. Not very handy having a bridge that can only be operated from one side. So we go back over here to our boot. And we paddle down here. Where we find a moonberry. Now it's time to go for a bit of a ride. There's only one way to get to the lower areas. Whee! Vice the daredevil. Right. Ah. Uh, Hello, ducks. Very cute. Nice. There's only one place I can get off here. Here. And... Yeah, just a... Just a hoose. Here's one of the people we need to talk to. She's just going to invite herself. I hope this wood has been treated. Look at that. Just sitting in the water like that. Just asking for dry rot. Oh, 
Ah, oh, hello. Ah, oh, poor guy's hungry. Eat. Come on, camera, stop fighting me. Okay, now the question is getting back up. I cannot remember how. Ah, oh, I think I just walk up. We leave the boat down here and we walk up. Is there anything under there? Nope. Ah, yes. It's one of these little lifts. You'd think they'd make a two way version, but nope. Terrifying. I take everything back that I said. I don't want to live here. And now we talk to you. <laughs> she doesn't know what a waitress is. We don't know if the Afitoman dishes are tasty, let's be honest. Oh, we've not eaten anything. So, I think we've grabbed everything we can from here. And now I think we need to head back up to the palace. Speak to the guards. Actually, while we're here, let's have a look at our crew. Because now we have some duplicates. Uh, Polly will restore one character's MP in fight, and Urala will max out spirit points, which can be quite handy. And we now have duplicate sailors. <coughs> we can have either double spirit points for a turn or reduce the cost of spirit for a turn. That might actually be very handy having Robinson as our active and the Jester. Raise chance of attacking first. Increase your ship's value. I think in the original game there was something to sell ships but it never got put into the final release but they kept the whole ship value thing in. You know what? Don't think I do have enough sacrum crystals actually. Ah, completely missed the lift. Come on, get in. I've got money to spare. I should go buy some more sacrum crystals because I'm probably going to use them a lot. It'll be my main source of healing now. This hasn't been a particularly interesting episode, I guess. A lot of running around, picking up stuff. But hopefully you've got to see a very nice, very pretty part of the game. And I hope you appreciate it as much as I do. This is definitely an area for all the Japanophiles out there. Where someone comes on and goes, eh, I think you'll find it's all Chinese culture. I don't know. I really don't know. It's a Kruin crystals. I'm gonna get all I've only got four of those and they cost a lot less than Sacrum crystals. 
So, I get 26 of those. Magic droplets. Max out on those. Magic dew. Get some more of those. Rizalum crystals. Get some more of those. Risen crystals that should be enough. I, I am flat broke. Well, I'm not broke, I've got a couple of thousand gold, but it's not much. Hope the crew doesn't mind not getting paid this week. Now my understanding is that the Yaffe Tumans, because of the Blue Moon Crystal, have perfected the ability to fly above the clouds. Which means they should be completely unobstructed for getting to the west. But they've not bothered trying to get to the west. Okay. <laughs> I have to go to the ship parts dealer. I didn't see him. Yes, I probably have to go down these stairs instead of flying over the waterfall. Or down this ramp at least. It's not stairs, it's a ramp. I haven't been confronted with too many stairs in this game. <laughs> yes. Ship parts dealer. Ah, not that I can afford anything. He's got some some nice cannons. A torpedo is going to be much nicer. Let's see. They were getting some more of these. I know that leaves me even less uh, money, but you know, I'm sure I'm going to get some in. Mount Kazai. <laughs> Ike is not happy about having to go underwater. We won't get to use our own ship again for quite a while. Seems like such a shame. It's stunning here. Do you just want to go for a swim? that'll be important. Of course it's important. I mean, we have no reason to believe that Valua are anywhere near here. They can't get through the dark rift for a start.
Right. Well, I remember this dungeon being a bit of a pain. of course with squiggly viewpoint RPGs aren't complete without a uh, a water temple are they at least this one isn't as bad as Ocarina of Times you don't have to keep swapping in and out of your inventory now the key to this puzzle is water level I can adjust the water level with this button. And this will make water flow in from all these various places. There's a moonfish up there I'm gonna get. And I'll be able to get to other areas. And we will start experimenting with water levels next time on Skies of Arcadia Legends. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.